Now, video from pedestrian accidents on Wilkinson Boulevard that our crews have responded to in the past. In the last five years, two people have died trying to cross the road near the Walmart in that area. Well, now there's a new pedestrian crosswalk over Wilkinson Boulevard aiming to keep pedestrians safer. And our Liliana Pearson spent a morning this week checking it out. And that's where we find her right now in West Charlotte along Wilkinson Boulevard. So Liliana, help us narrow down exactly where you are and, and tell us more about this new crosswalk. John, right now I'm standing right at one of those entrances to the Walmart, and behind me here is the very busy Wilkinson Boulevard, only a few minutes after 6, and there are already a lot of cars out here. And the closest pedestrian crosswalks are quite a, quite a ways away. The closest one is going to be down at the intersection of Remount Road. That's about a mile down in that direction. The next one is going to be at the old Seal Creek Road, half a mile in the other direction. So this new crosswalk that's being built right here is going to split the difference, hopefully discouraging people from running across those six busy lanes of traffic and delivering them right here to this very popular shopping center. Yesterday, I spent the morning out here and I saw several people running across this road trying to find gaps in traffic so they can get from one side and over to the other. And according to Watch For Me NC, the state's pedestrian and cyclist safety program, North Carolina is one of the least safe states in the U.S. for walking and biking. On average, 160 pedestrians and 20 cyclists are killed each year accounting for 15% of all traffic deaths. People hit at a speed of 40 miles an hour on average will have an 85% chance of dying. And Wilkinson Boulevard's speed limit is faster than that. It's 45 miles an hour. So the city of Charlotte is hoping this new crosswalk will help them achieve the goal of having zero traffic deaths by the year 2030. Clearly there was a need to address it. Because if you think about it, if there's fatalities, there's also the risk that people are crossing safely, but with a near miss condition. I don't like it. Um, and so that's why I program as many pedestrian safety projects as I can with the pedestrian safety money I get. April is also Distracted Driver Awareness Month, so us as drivers were asked to put down our phones and slow down to help protect our neighbors who are on foot. I know that Duke Energy came out and hooked up power to this crosswalk yesterday, so right now I'm following up with the city to see when this crosswalk is going to be operational for people. But coming up in the next half hour, I spoke to one woman who commutes through this area five days a week. She's telling us why she wants to see more crosswalks like this built. I'm Liliana Pearson, WBTV, on your side.